What's up, guys? All right, well, I am officially back to YouTube. Um, I've had probably a couple hundred comments since I, uh, since I last uploaded. It's been, I think, 120 days since I last uploaded, something like that. And uh, probably a little over, a little over that since I've uh, last fished. But I know a lot of you guys have been wondering where I've actually been, and uh, I've just been at school. I'm actually a civil engineering student at UCF. Um, it was uh, it was pretty tough, so I just kind of took it upon myself to just take a break from YouTube and uh, focus on school. I took three classes, one of them being Calc 3, which is pretty dang hard, and uh, you pretty much got to put all your effort into those uh, those classes, um, or you're gonna fail. Like you got to spend all your free time focusing on those classes, or you're gonna fail. So that's what I did. I uh, put in the effort. I passed all of my classes, which is amazing because they are pretty dang hard at this point and uh now we're just back to fishing so i'm gonna have about a month here of just straight fishing hopefully every day hopefully the weather will uh work with me and uh we're just gonna get right back to it uh i appreciate everyone who sent me messages just uh checking up on me um i haven't replied to them just because i wanted to wait till this video to time to just just announce uh where i've been but we are gonna go ahead and throw some uh some actually well i went to the bait and tackle shop today to get some fiddler crabs they didn't have fiddler crabs so i ended up just leaving with sand fleas live sand fleas i've never fished with them before and we're gonna fish for some big sheep's head today hopefully they are around in the summertime when i was fishing sheep's head a lot of people were like wait till the winter time they're gonna be so much bigger and uh it is officially the winter time it was about 50 degrees this morning and uh hopefully there's gonna be some some big sheep's head floating around we're gonna go throw around some docks and uh just just throw those little sand fleas around uh on a just a one-aught J-hook and let them sink down and hopefully they'll get picked up by some big sheeps. Got some ice, I'll bring a couple home maybe. And uh, I wanna take a look around for some pompano today as well. I don't know if I'll show any of that, but I will be trying to just keep my eye out looking for any of them swimming around. I remember about a year ago, um, I found a ton all over the flats in the crystal clear water and it was super cool to you know, sight fish them. But we'll, uh, we'll just keep our eye out for those today and uh, we'll get right to it. I'll, uh, I'll rig up here and uh, yeah, we're back to it. Let's go. All right, guys, we got our sand flea here. Never fished with these. Look at that. They are very cool looking. Um, but apparently sheep's head love them. I'm not 100% sure how to rig this. If there is a right way and I'm doing it wrong, please correct me in the comments, but I am just going to kind of just rig it just like that through the back. That should work, but if there is a better way, please let me know in the comments. All right, we got the uh, seven foot JM rod here. We have 15 pound braid, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, and a one aught J hook. So we're gonna go up to these docks, just flip this guy under there, let him sink down, and hopefully he'll get thumped before he even touches the bottom. Uh, a lot of times sheep's head with fiddler crabs, I know for one, and I'm assuming sheep's, or uh, these guys, sand fleas, as well they uh should love them and they should be uh oh what the heck i think my sand flea pooped <laughs> all right let's go come on Caught him that time. Oh man, that's a good one. It was like cast after cast. Probably went through five or six sand fleas right there, and we got our first sheep's head of the day. Try to get him in here. They are just so good at stealing bait. Actually, so good. Whew. All right. All right, these guys got to be 12 inches to keep. He is roughly, yeah, it's about 14 inches. That's a good one right there. We'll uh, put him in the Yeti. Nice, first one of the day, finally. Ugh. All right. Put him in there. I will break up that ice in a little bit when I go to uh, put our next sheep's head in there. I've actually been fishing for four or five hours and 
have been struggling. I've not been able to find any sheep's head anywhere. Honestly, anywhere. Water's been clear, looks great, everything looks normal. Just can't find them, but once again, there's our little J hook right there. We got them on. It is a one aught, and I think this is a mustad. Uh, I think it's called like a big beak hook or something like that. I don't know. I'll put a link to it in the description, but I like these. They work very good, and uh, I feel like I have a good hookup ratio when uh, when I actually uh, when I let them eat it. But we'll keep going here. Hopefully, we'll get some bigger ones. Jeez. Bumped it like he was gonna be 20 inches and he's like 10. <laughs> These fish are ice cold. Pretty little guy, but too small. Lost a couple that were definitely twice his length. Got that one. Not huge. Not bad either though. Get in. Oh. A little small, a little small. Whew. Not bad. One's probably just at 13, but we'll go ahead and let him go because we're gonna get uh we're gonna get some bigger ones than that. Back in the water you go. Yes! Stay tight, stay tight. <laughs> oh my goodness, get out of there. All right. I saw like five or six snooks sitting in there and I just thought I'd mess around and throw the sand flea under the dock right there. And I see a fish swim across it and just kill it. And I'm like, oh no, a snook actually ate that. But it is in fact a redfish. That was sick. I knew there was fish under there, I just couldn't really tell what they were. I knew a couple were snook, but cool that a redfish is chilling in there with them. Come here, buddy. Redfish in crystal clear water. Honestly? Well, this is definitely my first redfish on a sand flea, but I have not caught many fish on sand fleas in general. Whew. Check him out. Look at that blue tail. Hopefully you guys can see that in the video, but sometimes it doesn't show up on camera, but very blue tail there. Really, really pretty redfish. Probably only 20, 21 inches or so. I'm going to go ahead and get this hook out and uh, back in the water he'll go. <sighs> All right, bud. Back in the water you go. Oh my gosh, he soaked me. <laughs> there he goes. Nice. Let's go. First uh, first redfish in about 
four months or so maybe longer than that honestly it's been a while all right guys so it is uh it is over i fished probably six or seven hours it is 3 45 right now and it was nothing but slow it was just super slow i couldn't find any sheep's head all the places where i normally see sheep's head in the summer i, I checked them out there was like nothing it was just dry it was cold it was windy but uh we did catch a couple fish you know i think i got what three or four sheep's head got one decent one in the cooler um, just unfortunate. I guess I'm going to be the only one at my house eating sheep's head tonight. But got the redfish there at the end. That was that was cool. That was I haven't caught a sh uh, redfish in honestly I can't even remember August, maybe even July. It's been a while, but we got one. The sand fleas actually worked pretty well. I'm going to definitely use them again uh, for sheep's head sometime soon. It was a uh, it was a solid day. Good start, and we're just getting back to it. So if you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, other than that. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.